Hey everyone and welcome to the video. So the gameplay reveal has now been released and I basically want to talk about what I've seen. So we're going to go bit by bit and analyze what I actually saw in this gameplay reveal and talk about why I think actually for the most part it's a pretty decent showcase. So before we even get five minutes into it, they confirm quite a lot. They show off the gore and I have to say it looks fantastic. By far the best gore I've seen in any game. The system's called Flesh and I have to say it looks ridiculous. One thing I really like is they confirm that the gore is not just a visual effect, but it's actually a combat effect, meaning that if somewhere looks a little weak on the zombie's body, it will be weak on the zombie's body. If somewhere is more bloody and it's already pre-injured, it means that if you shoot it, it is a target point, and you can hit it, and it will do more damage. If a zombie is missing a leg, or it's got a really injured leg, you can shoot that leg and it will do extra damage opposed to its arm or its head. It's really interesting, and I like how that's going to change up the combat. They also then talk about the characters and how... You are not going to be forced into one style of gameplay, basically. So let's say you choose Danny, who is the agile one, quite funny, but really quicker on the map. You use agility to basically form your combat. It doesn't mean you're going to be completely useless with guns. They say that the skill system is basically going to allow you to do what you want with your characters, and you're not going to be kind of limited as to what weapons you should be using. One issue I had with Dead Island 1, basically, is that when you picked your character... You were basically forced to use whatever weapons they were good with, otherwise you put yourself at a bit of a disadvantage. It was never game changing, but it was always just kind of sucky knowing that I was using the wrong weapons for my character, just because I liked the character. This game doesn't seem to have that issue. Then they show off bits of the map, and they also confirm side quests and map interaction. The map interaction looks great. I like the idea that you can twist things in the map to make things work a little bit more. It doesn't have to be the most in-depth thing, but that little bit of map interaction will help. I also like, like I said, the side quest got confirmed. The map doesn't look totally empty either. They're showing off interiors, which, again, is a really good thing. So, the side quest was basically, you went up to this little announcer speaker thing, and they basically said, can you help us? Which is nice and simple. That's all we need. And I think it's going to be really cool to have kind of like a list of quests. This game is listed as an RPG. I know that that's kind of weird, but you got to understand that Dead Island 1 was basically an RPG as well. You went around collecting gear, upgrading yourself to go and solve quests, and... Hopefully they really take the RPG element to the next level. But the combat looks really arcadey and really fluid, so I have absolutely no complaints so far. One thing I really like about the combat that they have shown off is that it's going to be a bit more tactical and strategic. It's not quite as hack and slash as before, but it still has that element. So you'll be dodging attacks, you'll be using specific moves basically to avoid getting swinged and hit by zombies. And I really like that because the original Dead Island 1 combat was very simple. You walk up to them and you hit them. In this game it seems like combat's going to be a bit more tactical and strategic and basically like... You can play how you want and play to be a better player, so there's going to be a more more of a skill element to it, basically. They then basically show off the difference between weapon types, how sledgehammers, for example, will be great at knocking back enemies, katanas will give you that more dismemberment effect. It's really cool, and I like them showing off the unique elements weapons have. They also really show off something I learned whilst reading the Game Informer magazine. Um, that the map is going to be a lot more interactable when it comes to weapons than you think. There's lots of things to blow up and explode, and the original Dead Island didn't have that so much, but there seems to be tons of stuff in this map that you can destroy to help you kill zombies, and I think they have really showcased that in this. There's tons of, like, tankers you can blow up, street signs and stuff that just do damage. It's really cool, and I like what I saw. And another thing about guns, real quick, the combat looks drastically improved. One of my biggest issues with the original Dead Island was gun combat. I really like using guns like in zombie games, it's my way to play, but man, I've got to say, it looks really cool in this, and I'm more than happy. Honestly, it's like they watched my wishlist video for Dead Island 2 and responded, because in my last video I talked about them showing off some of the crafting weapons, and they've done it here. They show off exploding hammers and stuff, and it's like they've showed basically an evolution from Dead Island 1, and I really like seeing that they've really put some sort of improvements into the crafting system. By the looks of things, the map is going to be a bit more open world than the previous Dead Island games. You can really just explore where you want, go off the trail and not be stuck on a, a very narrow and direct route, which I really like. I like the original Dead Island because I could really explore and get to my objective however I want, but this seems to just be following up with that, so it's pretty cool. And it looks like you're going to be rewarded basically for doing that and veering off the trail. So it's not just going to be like you're following a waypoint killing zombies, you can really explore the map. Again, maybe more of an RPG element. Okay, yeah, the zombie combat just looks amazing. The gore makes every, like, battle look great. So we get introduced basically to the thug-type enemy. I've kind of forgot the names of the Dead Island 2 zombies, so I'm going to go off the Dead Island 1. But we had this thug enemy, and he starts slashing away, and it just looks insane as you attack them. I have to say, all combat's looking really good so far. They also show off some more equipment in this game, something we really haven't had in the previous Dead Islands. You can throw meat baits, and they'll basically go running away from you. Picture it like the monkey bomb in Call of Duty Zombies, if you've ever played that. 
really interesting dynamic and basically it's going to be helping you get out of pinches if you're about to get killed or something. I really like that. I also want to just say from the bits I've seen, I'm quite enjoying the humour of the game. It's got a kind of dark, depressing, but also quite comedic style. It's kind of like dark humour, but done correctly. And I really like what I'm seeing here. The game also looks like it's going to have a couple jump scares up its sleeve, which I think is going to be really fun. I always like that when it's not completely overdone and it's just a couple times that the zombies will actually kind of catch you off guard. I really like that dynamic and I think it'll make the game really interesting and always keep you on your toes. And then finally, it seems to have like boss fights basically coming back. And I have to say, they did a really good job. Like, I'm really looking forward to Dead Island 2. I've got such high hopes for this game after seeing this. Um, yeah. Dam Buster, you've absolutely smashed it. Deep Silver, the marketing team has absolutely smashed it. It looks fantastic. I'm telling you, this game, it's got some serious potential. And it may well be worth the wait. And trust me, it was a long wait. But I have to say, from this little trailer, I'm, I'm blown away. I think it looks really good. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. So... In conclusion, it was a 14 minute video that showed me everything I wanted to see and more, just like I hoped it would. And, you know, it look, we literally got to look at pretty much everything I spoke about wanting to see. We got to look at the story, side quests, interiors, the combat, we got new combat system, perk system, characters, the gore mechanics, the crafting, like, Jesus, man. Good job. Like, seriously, this is going to be a crazy good game. But anyway, I hope you just enjoyed this video of me basically going over everything we saw. Um, it's not very easy to put these ones together because I have to comment on basically everything I think is important and I always miss things. So if I missed anything, I apologize. If you want more Dead Island 2 coverage, gameplay, videos, basically just content on it, I will be around to do so. So yeah, that's all from me. See you soon. The end. Question mark?